Hello and welcome to our 10 minute technicals from Something Less Boring. So today's one, I'm going to do a little spring lamb, but I'm going to give you a little tip because this is about the technique. So it's not always about being able to draw something and it's more about using a technique. So we're going to do a bit of wax resist today. And um, what you can do is I've got my little lamb on my page here but you can take a picture of a lamb, um, say off the internet or one of your own photos, cut it out and even look, can you see I've, so I've cut the lamb shape out and I've even cut round the head there so that when, you're, when you place it on your page and you draw around it you can, um, you can actually get that face shape in. Okay, it's not my photo, so I'm not going to show that, I'm just going to leave that there. So basically, picture of a lamb, cut it out and use that as a template, okay? And then, referring to your picture, you can start to put on some wax crayon where there is white on this little lamb. So I'm going to put a little bit of white in his ears, there. He's got a little white bit on his forehead. He's got a bit round his eye. He's got a bit down here. He's got some in his back there. Okay. Just dust off any wax that's gathered. Actually, I'm just going to put a bit more on this coming down. So if you tilt your paper in the light, you'll see where your, your wax is and then you can add more if you need. Okay, brilliant. Right, I'm going to go in with a, let's move that one, I'm going to go in with a flat brush. And a bit of the grey first of all. So that's black with water, okay, not with white, with water. Right, so I'm going to put that little bit of colour there on his um, ear and then I'm going to block as well. And can you see where the wax is? It's not taking. So actually I want that to be a little bit more prominent in these areas. So before we go on any further, I'm just going to revisit those and apply a bit more wax. Excellent. Mix up my black again. So I'm going to go to, over to this other ear. I'm going to paint that in. That's brilliant. That's. I'm also going to just blot. Fab. Again, remember if you haven't got a wax crayon. If you've got like a white candle, that will do the same. It can even be a tea light if you take it out of its little metal case. Place there and blot. So I'm blotting because it'll then give me a variation in the, the depth of colour and it'll stop it looking flat. It's really quite dark, so I'm going to go in with some more. Darker down that nose. Around that mouth, a little bit of a lighter chin. Work around that eye. to work down into the body. So obviously the more water you add into your paint and the more that that's going to resist against that wax. And then 
I want to add a little bit more texture, so I'm going to go in and blot. And I'm going to try and keep this really kind of loose and quick. I'm copying, he's got really dark little legs, so bring that up to here. Blot a bit. It might make sense, I'm just going to pencil another little leg in back there. I'm going to have that a bit darker. Then he's got a little bit of a crease up here in his woolly coat. It's actually just the suggestion of his back leg there. So I might just pop that in there. I'm just going to work into my little lamb now with some darker areas. Start to give him a bit of shape. Drag that over across there. Now the great thing about wax crayon is if you wanted some light areas still, like some grey, so you've got the white. If you go over that with the wax crayon, there, so I've gone over that grey wanted a few mid-tones and you wanted that to be really dark but that area there to stay grey and then that area will stay white because it's already got wax crayon on. You can put some wax crayon over your painting, your existing painting, and that will protect to the grey layer underneath. So give it a go, it does take a little bit of getting used to your wax crayon. ears in, just bringing some broken lines off those ears to make them look fluffy, could do the same on his head actually. And then in his coat, where's my round brush, there we go, I'm just going to stipple. So that's that up and down motion with your your paintbrush like a sewing machine needle. I'm just going to stipple because his coat's woolly. This is um, longer hair on his face and around his ears but when it gets to his little coat here he's very much, it looks very woolly. So this stippling and your blotting combined is going to give you that appearance especially with the texture of that paper and where it's the wax is still uh, resisting the colour as well, really builds up to the texture. Okay, right, let's get this little bit in round here, it's his little nose. A bit dark around this mouth. I'm just using the very tip of my brush just to get that detail in. They've almost got very smiley little mouths, haven't they, lambs? That's what makes them look quite...
quite endearing, doesn't it? It's a little smiley mouth there. A bit darker here, gonna stipple, really stipple some dark, that's better in there. Let's stipple some dark up this little front leg here. reinstate that little crease there where that leg goes up. Put this other leg here, just put it down the back of that. Stick all that in under the tummy. And then I've just got that eye, so I'm just gonna do that in grey. got that very rectangle um, pupil, haven't they? I'm just going to pop in So just make that a bit more prominent. There we go. A little bit darker, just under that little chin there. And there you have it. Your little wax resist spring lamb so have a go see how you get on with that as i said it does take quite a bit of getting used to and remember your stippling as well so on his face you can give him those little brushes with a bit of a dry brush to get that fur effect and then on the body the stippling okay and as always keep sharing let us know how you get on and uh, we'd love to see how you're doing. Okay, brilliant. Thank you. Bye.